goods labeled made in China are everywhere in the world. As Sarah Bongiorni writes in her book, a year without made in China, that such a year is quite challenging. China was once called the world's factory, meaning it only participated in production, processing, and distribution, but lacked the capability for research or innovation. The first impression of China as the world's factory comes from its large workforce. A report from the International Labor Organization 10 years ago pointed out that the country had just 7% of Asia's processing plants, yet possessed 71% of its workforce. This is due to China's special economic zones, a policy that drove its initial economic development. In the 1980s, GRI, Hire, and Huawei were founded. Back then, these companies based their entire operation on performing the groundwork for other enterprises. But they embarked on their own paths of transformation and upgrades after China joined the WTO. Today, for the 10th consecutive time, Hire has ranked number one in the world in home appliance sales. Gris air conditioners occupy 21% of the global market. Huawei has submitted more than 5,400 international patent applications, an all-time record according to WIPO Director General Francis Gurry. These companies have transitioned from applying labels to being full-fledged brands. Nike and Adidas sneakers are no longer made in China, but in Indonesia or Vietnam. Since labor costs gradually increased, Multinational corporations have moved their production lines to less expensive countries. On the other hand, China's high-tech talent base has been growing. And due to the capital put into research, their contribution to industrial innovation has been significant. In 2018, China spent almost 2 trillion yuan on research and development. This combination of talent and technology has helped China transition. Innovations such as high-speed rails, mobile payments, and dockless bike share are in use by more and more people, both at home and abroad. 5G technology and folding screen phones have also attracted public attention around the world. According to the Global Innovation Index, it only took China seven years to rise from below 30 to its current number 14 ranking. There are cutting-edge products that wowed the world as well. The planet's largest filled aperture radio telescope, FAST, has already discovered 132 potential pulsars. Since C919's first flight, China has joined the few countries capable of developing large passenger aircraft. Today, China's scientific and technological prowess has kept stride with its economic growth. Amid this constant innovation, China is also placing increasing value on patents as it leads the world into uncharted territory. <laughs>